Hello guys and welcome to the penultimate Grand Prix of the season in Dubai. We have already gone and done practice where we managed to get our setups looking pretty decent for the weekend. Maybe a couple of tweaks in qualifying here or there. Um, there have been no major updates regarding the HQ or parts for the car. So let's just get ourselves into qualifying. a big weekend in terms of trying to get the points that we want for is possible for us this season we've got two cars to get there two weekends to get there we need Russell and Latifi on fire for these last two races to help get us to fourth in the constructors. We will now send out La Cifi. There shouldn't be much threat of rain this weekend. At least you hope there wouldn't be. to see what they do in terms of their laps so Russell is seven tenths off at the moment in third I don't know whereabouts it's gonna put them among the grid Latifi is in last now that is a worry George will not be going out again Latifi on the other hand Well, he definitely will be. We'll send him out now. This is his shot. He needs to gain about three temps for it to hope to get into Q2. He really does need a bit of an improvement. perfect tyres what can Nicholas Latifi pull out the bag as he takes the first corner goes through there he is three tenths down after sector one my big question is where does he end up losing one point he's eight tenths down after sector two although he is apparently faster in sector two as he comes round he's 1.2 down it's not enough Latifi do we send him back out? Are we going to have the time? I don't think we're going to have the time to send him back out. That was his lap. His one opportunity. And Nicholas Latifi's messed it up. And now we just hope that Russell doesn't drop into there. He shouldn't. And he doesn't. Russell is into Q2. But Nicholas Latifi starting down in 17th. A very disappointing qualifying. So in Q1 we lose Nikita Mazepin, Nicholas Latifi, Yuki Tsunoda, Antonio Giovinazzi and Mick Schumacher. Maybe this track isn't designed for us maybe, I don't know but Latifi certainly lets down a little bit there and with me not sure what I'm doing regarding drivers for next season it's the wrong part of the season to be letting yourself down like that I mean if he flies off the line tomorrow then 
faults forgiven, I suppose. If he flies off line and gains like three or four spaces within the first few corners, all is forgiven, but it's a terrible lap. Absolutely terrible lap from him. And now we wait to see what George can pull out the bag here in Q2. Well, he was going to go perfectly. He's the first man on track, but he does lose it immediately to Lewis. So he's two tenths down after sector one. Now, sector two is where we lose a lot of time. He's four tenths down. That's not terrible. As he crosses the line, he ends up three tenths down. He actually went faster than Lewis in sector three. And with that time, Russell may well have booked his place in Q3. So seven tenths down overall on Max, who's gone fastest. And he's about four tenths up on anybody else in terms of the 11th place. So in that regard, I'm probably not going to send him back out. We'll probably save on the tyres. If he ends up dropping out, then it's going to be 11th or 12th anyway, which is in a terrible position with choice of tyres. So we'll take the gamble. He's asking, he's saying the track's rubbering in. Is it rubbering in for someone like Gasly and Norris to find four tenths? In terms of Norris, a little over four tenths. No, is the answer. It wasn't, and Russell makes it to Q3. This is the difference between Russell and Latifi. In Q2, we have lost Sebastian Vettel, Lando Norris, Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen, and Lance Stroll. Here we are, Q3. Lando Norris just showing Latifi up a little bit now. Whereabouts will Lando Norris end up? Not Lando Norris, George Russell. Very early in the morning. If he can get fifth or higher, I'll be absolutely over the moon with that. got perfect tyres here he goes George Russell he is two and a half tenths down after sector one he's six tenths down after sector two he's nine tenths down that is not a good lap from George we'll see where everyone else is putting in times he's probably looking at eighth or ninth place start which isn't terrible considering Latifi's starting 17th we're not sending them out again just in case we need the super softs stuff that we're sending them out again I just thought we've got we never really use super softs as a choice in the middle of the race so why shouldn't we send out George to have one last lap and the possibility of maybe going fifth or f even fourth. You'd have to find a lot of time to get into fourth, don't get me wrong, but not impossible. So his tyres are perfect apparently. Final minute session, I know he's on his flying lap, it's fine. So he's two temps down, but he is up. Six temps down after sector two. He doesn't improve. George.
Vettel stays where he is and he will qualify in seventh place. Lewis Hamilton gets pole by six thousandths of a second. Absolutely insane. But George Russell showing up the Tifi. And now we have to sit and think. Is Nicholas Latifi the man for us? It's performances like this that make you doubt it. As we get now to a race day, the medium tyres will obviously play a massive part in this weekend for both drivers. But we are actually going to put super softs on for George because that's what he's starting on. In terms of the car setup, we are sticking with what we've got. The only thing we're going to change is Latifi, whose tyre choice will see him go straight onto the medium tyre and go for the one stop onto the soft. Off the start line, we are going to ask the boys to really push it, both of them. And the grid for this Grand Prix is Lewis Hamilton on pole, Max Verstappen will start second, Sergio Perez will start third, Valtteri Bottas is alongside him on the second row in fourth, Daniel Ricciardo is fifth with Carlos Sainz in sixth, George Russell will start on the fourth row in seventh alongside Charles Leclerc in eighth, Pierre Gasly is ninth with Esteban Ocon in tenth, Sebastian Vettel will start 11th and Lando Norris in 12th. Fernando Alonso is 13th and Kimi Raikkonen is 14th. Lance Stroll will start 15th alongside Nikita Mazepin in 16th. Nicholas Latif with a horrendous qualifying starts 17th alongside Yuki Tsunoda. Antonio Giovinazzi starts on the 10th row of the grid in 19th and Mick Schumacher props up the whole field in 20th. Here we go, ready for lights out. When it comes to George, can he get through? He's had a poor start. He's had a very poor start and he's dropped down to eighth, possibly even ninth here. And he's gonna drop down to, is he ninth? He's ninth. Very poor start from George Russell. And now we'll put him onto the mediums and Latifi's dropped all down into last place. This is not the start to the Grand Prix we were hoping for. With him, we're going to ask him to conserve his tyres anyway. Just to make sure they definitely reach the end. And now George will look to gain a couple of places. And he can now go on to the conserve of his tyres. The longer he can make these super softs last, the better. But Lando Norris and Sebastian Vettel have got themselves in good positions on those softs. Ocon will surely have to pit quite early on in this race. Which will obviously unleash... And he has, he's pit already. And Latifi, who's basically led in last place. He's in net last. And George Russell here in sixth. Just hoping to make the tyres last a little bit. That little group is getting away from us a little bit. Carlos Sainz is actually leading that group away. And Lando Norris, who will now have fresher tyres, will start to look to think, can I attack? Where can I attack? We'll just use the RS to hopefully pull away a little bit from him. And then we have got the TV who will close right up behind Giovinazzi but won't get past Pierre Gasly on super softs has had a horrendous start down in 18th place that is for sure right now when do we bit Russell is the question I think we're pitting this lap. So we're going to pit Russell this lap. Do we then go go to super softs? 
that's a possibility. We'll go for it. Well, we're going to go soft anyway. Let's go super soft, medium. I think that might be the quicker plan, actually. If we go super soft, then medium. So we'll charge up his battery as well. And we'll focus on Latifi. Everything went well for George. He'll get past, get back past along um, Ocon and Ricciardo. And Leclerc is on the medium tyre, so now George will drive and look to get past. We're going to put him on neutral, and then when the tyre goes, the tyres go. Lando Norris has crashed. And as for Nicholas Latifi, who's really struggling when it comes to actually getting past Antonio Giovinazzi. Going along with Latifi is the only option we've really got, in all honesty. It really is the only option we've got. We've just got to keep an eye on his tyres. And George here is he's going all right it's George as he comes around here we'll whack on that ERS just to try and close up to Leclerc who's on those medium tyres and hopefully on the more racy tyre we might actually be able to get past Leclerc here he's right behind him can't find a way through at the moment George but he's doing alright I think we're possibly on the right strategy I do think we're probably on the right strategy we want to use a little bit of VRS ourselves to close up Leclerc and Perez battling it out and George is now starting to fall away from him a little bit. And Nicholas Latifi, who aims to stay long and keep going long in this race. And as the cars pit, Russell goes up into 13th place. Vessel and Alonso have gone to super soft tyres, so they aren't going for the one stop. Not at all. And Russell trying to gain now, but he can't. He's really struggling to get right up with Leclerc. And he's with him now. He's going for a move. And it's a good defensive driving from Charles Leclerc. Very good defensive driving there from Charles Leclerc. not work it's not working out now so we go on to the mediums from here we will pit George now where he will now go to the end and it's actually Latifi in front of George George comes back out he is behind Nikita Mazepin he's behind Lance Stroll these are people who will probably I think be going to the end we'll use our ERS to battle the ERS of Ocon get through on Mazepin now George needs to think about how he can start to push the car a little bit Vettel is past Latifi. And George is doing what George does. 
Leclerc's crashed. Leclerc has crashed, so that is an extra place for Russell straight off the bat. Right, we're going to pit Latifi now. He'll come in for his softs. Charge up his ERS. Right, there you go. That's Latifi's pit stop strategy done. Daniel Ricciardo is right behind George Russell. And he's through on George Russell. That's on Latifi, what am I on about? George is in 14th. Mick Schumacher next up the road. For our George. He's now into 13th place. We've just got to try and make sure we, we can take these tyres to the end. Kimi Raikkonen on the racier tyre, certainly looking fast. And there's a little bit of a worry for me. The virtual safety car. No, you've just pit, mate. Why would we virtual safety car it? Carlos Sainz has now crashed from the lead. Raikkonen is using that now to get past Russell. Verstappen will have to pit again. Three crashes. Both Ferraris have crashed out. Behind Russell is Nikita Mazepin who's trying to be a bit racy. And right in front is Verstappen. That's where he came out. Latifi's in 13, so at the moment it's not actually turning into a bad one-stop strategy from Latifi. We're up into ninth. And now, I think we're trying to serve the tyres a little bit. Maybe put the car into high. And let's just see what happens. Speed it up. Let's see if we can get past anyone. George is actually catching that Alfa Romeo, but now he's losing it a little bit. Yeah, he's lost his way on that one a little bit. And he's now getting caught by Sergio Perez on super soft tyres. And Sebastian Vettel, who's going to be get going through the field at rapid pace on his super soft tyres. Here he comes, Vettel, and he will go past into eighth. Valtteri Bottas will be coming through the field as well. And right now it's that Daniel Ricciardo on fast mediums behind George that we have to be wary of. Who will probably come and get past him, you'd feel. George doing what he can, and there Ricciardo gets past. And Bottas is flying on those super softs at the moment. But apparently he has an issue. Is it an issue that slows him down enough so we haven't got to worry about him? Hopefully. I don't know. No, he seems to be catching at quite a rapid pace Russell here is actually looking to try and get back past Ricciardo and there's Bottas and Russell trying to get past Ricciardo can he oh Bottas just goes through the both of them so as I gain a position he loses a position a little boost won't have done much Maybe, just maybe it did enough. Um, Latifi's done well. Le 
Latif, Latif, he's finished 13th, which is good for where he was. But George Russell gets 8th and did brilliantly in the end to get there. Absolutely fantastic drive. There was another lap with how those tyres were looking for your Vettels, Alonso's and Ocon's. I think Latif may have got 10th place, but there wasn't another lap. George gets 8th place, getting a couple of places in those final couple of laps. So we do pick up a couple of points. Well, I think it's four points we pick up. Was it five? Four or five? Yeah, four points that we pick up with George. Overall, we dropped a place. Kimi Raikkonen, the biggest winner with his one such drive. Well, actually, the biggest winners were Yuki Sonoda and Mick Schumacher. 15 places gained. Absolutely insane from them. That will damage our hopes of a fourth place finish. George closes within a point of Nicholas and Tifi. And it is oh so tight for that fourth place finish. Alpha Tauri on 147, Alpine on 146, and Williams on 145. And it all goes down to the final race of the season. The final race in Qatar. Can we do it? Can we have a good Grand Prix? We know what happened last time we were in Qatar. George Russell, second place. Our first ever podium in this save. Can we repeat that? Can we secure fourth place in the Drivers' Championship? I can't wait to find out. This could be incredible. I'll see you guys in Qatar for a massive race weekend.